a gunman has opened fire on the police headquarters in the U.S. city of Dallas, before fleeing the scene in what appeared to be an armored vehicle. A police chase led to a tense standoff in a car park for several hours, until police shot at the suspect through the front windshield of the van. Police believe the suspect is dead, but are approaching the van with caution as it may be loaded with explosives. Earlier, at least two bombs detonated outside the Dallas Police HQ in Texas. The motive for the attack is not clear. No officers have been hurt. Initially, police quoted witnesses as saying that as many as four suspects were involved in the initial shooting at about 12.30, 5.30 GMT, on Saturday. However, Dallas Police Chief David Brown subsequently said he believed only one gunman was involved. He said that following the shooting, the suspect fled the scene in the van, ramming a police car. A police chase involving dozens of squad cars ended in a car park in Hutchins, about 9 miles, 14 kilometers, from central Dallas. The van, which has been disabled using a police rifle, appeared to have gun ports built into its sides. Police say the suspect is a white male, but his identity has not been confirmed. Mr. Brown said the suspect had said his name was James Balware, and police said officers had attended three incidents of domestic violence involving a man with that name in the past. The suspect has told our negotiators that we took his child and we accused him of being a terrorist, and that he's going to blow us up. And then cut off negotiations, Mr. Brown told a news conference. At 5.07 local time, police snipers shot through the front windshield of the van, Mr. Brown said. We have sent a bomb technician robot, that has a camera, to try and confirm whether the suspect is deceased. He added that police officers were not approaching the vehicle yet, as the suspect had said his van was rigged with explosives. Suspicious package. Meanwhile, residents near the police headquarters have been evacuated as a precaution while specialist teams dealt with the explosives. One of the bags exploded as a robot tried to move it. Dallas police said they successfully detonated another device found under a police truck outside the headquarters, while a third package found in a rubbish container had been cleared and was not an explosive. Maj Max Jaron from Dallas police said one officer searching for explosives had almost tripped over one of the bags that exploded. Some officers say we are very lucky. I believe we are blessed that our officers survived this ordeal, Mr. Brown said. Part of the Interstate 45 highway, where the standoff took place, has been closed, while nearby rail and bus services have been suspended, AP News Agency reports. Joshua Gilbuad, who lives near the police headquarters, told the BBC he was woken by the gunshots. It sounded like approximately 200 gunshots going off across the street. He said police told him and his flatmates to evacuate the building and shortly afterwards there was a huge explosion which shook the glass in the windows.